Let's do this, baby. All right, what is going on, Tube? It is your boy, Super, or Smalls, or Alfie, or you know it's that Paul Wall, baby. And although it's Paul Wall, baby, right now, your boy's going for the LA Dodgers. So just know uh, they tied it up today, 3-1, and uh, yeah, pretty pretty pumped about that. You made a bet with your dad, so hopefully the Dodgers can pull out and come through. Um, but if not, hey, at least Paul Wall is happy, and that's you know, your boy Spirit Animal. Anyway, welcome to another monthly pickups. And I know, I know, I didn't hit you guys with a pickup for the month of September. I am so sorry. But it'll make this video a little more full, so I'll show you guys September first, and I'll go show you guys October. I mean, yeah, it's pretty um unique month, you know. There's a little bit of shoes sprinkled in, some clothing pieces, and some. Uh, we'll go miscellaneous with that one. So anyway, welcome to it, and I'm about to show you all everything I picked up. So let's just start with September. September was pretty cool. Um, I can't really remember when I bought all these things, but I'm just gonna say these are the only things I picked up in September. So that's probably why I didn't make a video because it was, it was only one thing. And although it's only one thing, it's a pretty big thing. And they are the. Bang, Yeezy 350 V2 Boost, red stripes, baby. A lot of people's grails and honestly, very dope. I love how they look on foot, just a very sleek, sexy shoe. Um, all, all black all over and that red streak just makes it pop hell of a much. Not much too much to talk about them. All black, a lot of people's grails for the V2s. Um, one of mine, all the black shoes with just those singular color stripe, this, this is probably my favorite out of all of them for sure. I mean, the Oreos are cool, you know, the coppers are cool and the Olives are cool, but these are probably my favorite just because of how much they pop and they look really good I think they look good and better in smaller sizes I remember seeing someone with a smaller size of this and I'm like man dope shoe But yeah, dope shoe comfortable shoe size 10 my size my true size I've ranged between 11s and 10s in my uh, V2s and I can definitely say 10 works But I think 11s a lot better just if you don't want to feel it on your foot So uh, yeah, easy 350 boost red stripes boom 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 September October was mad dope mad cool mad nuts Game, you mad nuts. I already dropped a review on it, so definitely go check it out. I'll probably link it in the description, honestly, if I remember, but yeah. Uh, OVO uh, Sport Runner jacket, a polyester all over, pretty cool jacket. Um, honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not in love with the jacket. I wish it was a little bit bigger, um, but it's definitely a cool jacket, you know, when you don't want to just wear a hoodie, you want to wear a shirt underneath. Um, definitely um, something cool if you're going for that look, that, that fitted look. Uh, but I did a whole review on it, but as you can see, OVO UFC writing. Uh, on the side top left breast and uh, this minimalistic design, but it's a cool jacket not my favorite jacket If I'm being honest with you guys, and I, I think you can still pick it up Maybe yeah, there's a couple sizes left, but yeah dope jacket I might just give it to my brother if we're being honest, but yeah OVO sport runner jacket all black polyester boom boom where to pop Williams Wayne brothers <laughs> It's your boy been craving that beer pong. Your boy loves playing beer pong. And honestly, I don't even need beer with it. Uh, I can just play pong all day. So that's why your boy has to buy beer cups and whatnot. So whenever your boy wants to play, uh, it's ready to go. These are the no-name ones. Um, honestly, these are probably one of the worst cups you can buy on the market. I'm not trying to bash no-name, but they chip. They chip. So like I'll play with one session, which is probably about like seven games or you know two sessions about that. And they, they always crack and chip. So definitely, I think if you're going beer, the beer pong route, you can definitely probably go with a lot of better brands out there. I think. Walmart has those ones where they're just like, um, they're made for beer pong. They come with like, maybe not the best balls, but the cups I think are pretty sturdy. So, you know, if you're if you're serious about your beer pong, probably don't go with no name because they don't got the longevity as I think some of the other cups do. So I'll buy those Walmart, like legit beer pong cups and I'll let you know about that, but yeah. And of course you play beer pong, you gotta have the balls. So boom, your boy bought balls. These are like the ones from Walmart too, like East Point. I think these are the ones like all my friends play with and use. So I got the glow in the dark ones. And I got the bright ass, uh, you know, fluorescent orange one, so pretty cool. I've only used the glow in the dark ones, and those are pretty cool. They glow, they, they, they glow decently. And these orange ones are cool because you don't really lose them because they're so bright and orange. But yeah, balls for days. Bang! I'll let you guys a little unboxing. So um, my setup is I got two lights um, that I picked up off Amazon, and uh, I have one plugged into the stair lights. So uh, in order for these lights, to, for that light to work, that's plugged into the stair lights, the switch has to be on. So I have a light connected on there, and I have lights on the stairs that are connected like Christmas lights. So I turned this off, didn't want to waste power. Um, and I thought the bulb had crapped out. I was about to shoot a video. I was in the groove, and I'm like, man. So I went to Amazon real quick. Um, I bought these. Boom, boom. As you can see, packaged well nicely. Got the uh, scarf. And boom, right there, nothing in the box. Box away. Bubble wrap nicely. I'll probably give the uh, bubble wrap to my mom because my mom loves popping these these bubble things. I kind of want to open this properly so I don't mess up her bubble popping game. Boom. Oh. Boy, got bulbs. Should these ones crap out on me? As I said, that probably gonna crap out right now. As you can see, photography bulbs. That's the packaging it came in. I think this is a pack of four. Yeah, a pack of four. So these are the ones that work with my lights. They think I have my lights. But yeah, as you can see, a pack of four ready to go whenever these ones decide to die out on me. So I'm pretty happy about that. 
I would normally throw the box away, but I don't want these balls to break. They sound good, but yeah. Uh, the company is Cowboy Studio. So boom, yeehaw, partner, yeehaw. And yeah. So yeah, move it on. Keep it in themes with boxes. So as you know, if you've been keeping up with the videos, I had to get surgery on my eyes. Something was wrong with my cornea. My cornea was all messed up. Uh, why not? So I basically had to get this surgery so I didn't have to get a cornea transplant. Your boy had to drop a couple racks on it because, man, like this was not covered by insurance. This is a new process. So anyone that has keratoconus, I feel for you and I know where you're at. Um, hit me up if you have any questions about it. I can answer all the questions. Um, I went to LASIK Eye MD. Um, they've been taking care of me, so I'm healing very well. To apply a couple drops here and there. Um, but now I'm on my last cycle of drops. And there are these, these, whoop, just, uh, these are just, um, these aren't any medical kind of drops. They're just um, lubrication drops if my eyes get dry. Then I just put these on and it feels pretty good. And I can see a little bit better too, especially so when my eyes dry out, um, I don't see as well or see as far. So these help with that, you know, just, you know, lubricating the drops and I don't have to like rub my eyes and I can't rub my eyes anymore. So these are those, boom, lubrication drops. So yeah, your boy went to the home opener for the Raptor game and it was dope. We beat the Chicago Bulls, you know, we, we handled them pretty easy. Um, two of their players got into a fight. So it was basically pretty much, you know, their reserves, the, the G League team. Um, and they came with the shirt. So the shirts have been a lot better. Uh, North over everything. My only gripe with the shirt is I think, honestly, it could have just been all black. Um, I don't like that. It's just like, like I get it. This, I, I guess you're showing everyone this logo for the first time, essentially. So you want to just show what it looks like. But this could have been an all black shirt. Um, and it would have been even more dope. But um, honestly, of all those Raptor shirts I do have, I think this is one of my favorites. I got a plethora, but yeah, pretty dope shirt. Went with my boy Sasu, so Sasu, if you're watching this, bang, we out here, dog. Uh, and yeah, I got a lot more games that I'm going to. I'm going to the Washington Wizard one, so the Raps are on a road trip right now, six game road trip. Um, they're gonna be in Denver, I think tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. And then they go to Utah, and then they come back home on the fifth uh, for the Wizards. So me and my mom are going to that one, so that should be dope, fun, and awesome. Um, and then I'm gonna hopefully go to the one uh, the Hornets game, I'm going to lower bowl, so that's cool. And then uh, maybe a Laker thing, so hopefully go to the Laker game. Um, I might work some magic, I'll let you guys know. That one's in January, so that's a little far away. This year will be full of Raptor games, so I'm pretty excited about that. Your boy copped a pair of Ultra Boost, and they are the whoop, bang. As you can see, Ultra Boost in that rust colorway. Uh, very, very dope. I love the color boost and the leather cage on it. Very, very dope. I didn't do a review on these. Um, I might. If you want to see a review on these, uh, leave a comment down below. But super dope shoe. I love the leather cage. I love the bronze boost. I love the bronze uh, lace tips on them. Very, very dope. Um, these are 11 and a half. I'm a nine and a half to 11. You're like, yo, why are you going full size half up? Um, but honestly, um, the 3.0 fits kind of snug. I have a size 11 in the uh, tan colorway. Um, and those fit like a 10. So these are like a 10 and a half. I guess you could say, or like an actual 11. So not too bad, I got them for a good price. They're used, as you can see, used like lightly, but I'm very happy about these. These are dope and wonderful. Um, these could be my new beaters in the winter. I have a pair of Core Black 2.0s, um, but I could definitely use these in the winter because the boots won't really stain too much just because of that you know, rust colorway. So these are very dope. I'm happy having these in the collection. Honestly, low key grails of mine. Um, and yeah, I mean, dope shoe. Let me know if you have them in the comments down below. But yeah, Adidas 3.0, rust. Tech rust, tech rust. Tech. Technically, these are these are tech rust. And yes, to close out the video, I'll close it off with my favorite sport in the whole entire world. Uh, this is my favorite sport. When people ask what my favorite sport is. This is my favorite sport. It's hockey. And whoop, poof, your boy was able to snag a Carey Price Montreal Canadiens jersey. I forget what this was for. Was this, I don't know, for like an outdoor classic game? I'm not entirely sure, but your boy went with a small, and I know I preach bagging this, but I recently wore my Russia jersey to my boy's birthday party, and I'm like, man, I really want to start wearing jerseys by themselves, you know? So a small works for me, um, and you can also wear it over, you know, over a hoodie, so it'll still look nice. But yeah, this is an insane jersey, as you can see. The like quilting on the back patch, everything. I think these are steam pressed on. I don't know, I don't know if these are stitched. Yeah, steam pressed on. Reebok, um, I got these for like, I forget what it is, it's like, this is like 39 bucks or 49 bucks, but dope that, you know, little patching on the side, dope. And it's carry price and a uh, little detail right there, LNH, SVP, honestly, if you guys live in, this, in Scarborough area or in the Ajax area, just hit up your SVP because you can get steals like these and these are, this was a flamey jersey, had to have them. Okay, lad, I'm not gonna close it off with the jersey. I actually bought another pair of Yeezys and I'm wearing them right now. These are pretty graily. A lot of people's grails for the V1s and they are the, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, uh, the Turtle Dove V1 slippers, like poofy ass slippers. So I went to Sneaker Con. I have the vlog almost ready to go, but I just, it's not a lot of footage. I just wanted to take in my first Sneaker Con. And honestly, it's not the greatest footage, but I'll, I'll upload it eventually. But yeah, I bought, I didn't buy any shoes, but I bought these, the V1 <laughs> Turtle Dove poofy ass slippers. But these are really cool. I'm not a big slipper guy at home, but these, are de I've definitely worn these a, a bunch of times. You know, keep dirt off your feet. Um, my floor, our floors aren't the cleanest, so keep dirt off your feet. But these are really, really cool. I like these a lot. It's comical almost. I seen a girl wearing the Pharrell 
like the uh was it the yellow and black ones like the bruce lee um nmds and i'm like whoa like slippers i'm like whoa those are really cool and i think the turtle dove is really really cool so these were 40 bucks um i mean kind of expensive but honestly really really cool um it looks just honestly if you want me to do a review on these i will i was thinking about doing a review on them i just never got to it yeah, honestly just perfect pretty much perfect honestly the only thing is there's no yzy there there's obviously no boost and there's no stitching there's no middle stitching in the middle there's no middle stitching there but honestly it's pretty good and oh, just funny to look at it's like it's like someone pumped a bunch of air into a yeezy uh, turtle dove and yeah these are really cool so i like these a lot and something to remember my first sneaker con by september and october were pretty chill but a pretty i think solid months you know it wasn't a volume thing but it was more like a strong strong individual pickup thing so yeah let me know your favorite purchase of mine you know was it Anything you don't see right now, was it the beer pong? Um, was it the beer pong? Was it the light bulbs? Was it the lubricating drops? Was it the North over everything t-shirt? Or was it a shoe thing? Was it the red stripes? Was it the tech rust? Was it, were it the Yeezy slippers? Or was it the Carey Price jersey? You should let me know all down below. Or the OVO Sport Runner jacket. How was your September and October? Were you guys picking up anything crazy? Let me know in the comments all down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscription if you enjoyed. That was that. And this is the monthly pickup for the month of September and October. And your boy is out, baby. Peace. Oh, and I got something uh, coming on the way. I'm not going to spoil it right now, but just know something coming on the way, dog. <laughs> we out. Peace.